Everyone has a curse. Erwin deals with the repercussions of said curses. And sometimes said curses cost you your loved ones and everyone else around you. But as long as you have someone who's willing to help you, and as long as you have someone willing to help you overcome said curse, you can overcome anything. Yeah, soldiers, this is your boy the Amy Stage coming to you for another video, and this is with Naruto had nuclear release part five finale. So this is the last part for this entire series, as I'm pretty sure that Shippuden is going to be very quick due to the fact that a lot of the stuff that happens in the story goes around the same. And I do honestly want to cap off the series in a decent way by ending it off on a decent note and in, in a bit more of a unique way. Now, before we get into this, first off, shout out to my boy Drew for ending this video. If you want to suggest me any fanfics that you want me to read, again, give me the name of those fanfics watch my community tab like a hawk that is really important and follow me on all my social medias they are all linked in the description join to my patreon and of course follow me on twitch and that should be about it for the introduction so without further ado let's get into the finale all right so we're last left off we saw Norts return to the village, and he's gotten a lot stronger, and he'll be fighting the Akaski. At this point, a lot of the events will end up playing out the same as usual, as Norts was powerful, though the battles will still prove to be a bit difficult. Norts also maintains contact with Fu, and both of them have gotten pretty close. Now, is this closest going to result in a ship? Well, I'm not going to say anything, but knowing me, most likely. The Kazakagi rescue mission will be around the same as the original story, but this time it is Naruto joining Team 7, especially since Sasuke is here in his canon. However, Gara will still be captured and he'll be in a near-death state, which will cause Chiyo to make a similar sacrifice to canon. You might be asking about the clone Itachi fight, and for that, it would go relatively the same, though Sasuke has been disappointed that he did not deal with the real Itachi, though in a way, he knew because of the Sharingan. Now, since Sasuke is here in the village, there is no Tenchi Bridge arc because the main reason was because it allowed Sakura and Naruto to see Sasuke before he absolutely obliterated them. Seriously, time skip Sasuke was no joke. Since Sasuke is still here in the village, there's a new arc that I'm going to add to the story, and that is a mission to retrieve Fu. Welcome to the Fu rescue arc. It would be two consecutive rescue arcs in a row, but eh, who cares. Naruto and Jirai will head over to the Waterfall Village when they get word of what's going on with Fu, and we'll see Naruto and Jirai face off against Kagusu and Hidan. Yes, I did get this idea from Legacy, but who else would they have fought that makes sense? Now, Hidan and Kagusu know that it is not a good idea to get near Naruto, despite him being an intelligent Cherokee, as their leader, Pain, has warned about not fighting Naruto until there is a clear cut solution for his nuclear abilities. In addition, they're going to be dealing with Sage Mo Jiraiya. They only have one option, and that is to run after briefly fighting with the two of them, saving Fu from dying. A lot of the train will be the same, and we'll see Naruto go through a lot of the same events as Ken Shippuden, mostly again because while Naruto is strong in his canon, he ain't a god. Though because Naruto fought against Hidan and Kagusu, this is going to cause a new effect in the story, and that is whether or not Asuma survives. Spoiler alert, he does. And this is because since Naruto fought with Kagusu and Hidan, Shikamaru, at the very least, will be cautious when he fights against those two, and will be able to make a slight plan against the two of them, that while the remainder of the battle will leave Asuma critically injured, he will be able to survive. And then Asuma will then unfortunately get the news he has to pay child support. Rips for our dude Asuma, a role model on how to avoid child support. The Itachi and Sasuke fight will go around the same, though Naruto at the end is able to save Sasuke from getting snagged by Tobi, or Obito as he gets there before him. Now for the question of the day. What is your favorite non-canon power that you would give to Naruto? So a power that Naruto did not get in the entirety of Naruto or a power from another universe or something completely fan-made. Heck, the power could be from an Entei and I wouldn't care. I mean, because I would understand. <laughs> Leave your answer in the comments below. Anyways, the Pain Assault arc will go relatively the same as Jiraiya will still die in his cannon and Naruto will be able to obtain a nuclear style stage mode and crush Pain using that and avenging Jiraiya. Pain is able to use his pass to get away from the nuclear abilities of Naruto and by that I mean the radiation waves since the bodies are already dead or I guess the paths but Naruto will still have 
the ability to be pain and the rest of pain are real similarly and we'll now move on to the war where nothing really changes much except a couple big events one the revival of the ten tails and kagu never happens because fu is never sucked into the ghetto mazo and a more powerful naruto and by proxy sasuke and a bunch of her kona shinobi are able to in the end handle madara and tobi or of course obito and by proxy because of this this means that neji is able to survive as well as a bunch of cannon fodder shinobi and my guy never loses his legs and at the end of the war Naruto and Fu confess and they'll eventually start dating after the war. Now I'm gonna put a bit of a warning here because the ending I am creating here is a bit dark, sly, comedic, and cultured. You'll see what I mean in a second. Years pass after the war and Naruto is soon trained to become the future Hokage and does a couple of peace missions. Well as you know the radiation seals that he had once had have loosened up a bit as he has grown a little too strong. Like, this dude has a nuclear release combined with a stage 6 pass form, and by the way, he would still get it because Madara is still Madara, and that is not good for him, as the seals can't necessarily contain his radiation anymore. This means a lot of villages and areas become intoxicated by radiation poisoning. This causes a whole bunch of the planet to drop like flies, except two humans in Naruto and Fu since they're Shinchuriki, and I guess Killer B as well. Naruto feels immense guilt as he realizes this is all his fault, but Fu will comfort him and tell him that no matter what, she will love him and they can start anew. She was angry at first, but she realizes Naruto is in a lot of pain because of something that is out of his control, and she definitely does not want Naruto to do something, let's just say, drastic to himself. Fu is able to live due to being in Turkey, as I've already stated, so essentially her and Naruto are the last two people on Earth, besides again Killer B, and since they're the last two people on Earth, you know what they have to do, repopulate the Earth, and they do just that. <laughs> Alright, I know some of y'all might not necessarily like the ending because it is a bit, let's just say, different from what you would have expected, but honestly, I kind of want to spice things up for the ending of the series because I honestly got really bored of the same old everybody lives ending to Naruto. Again, it just kind of felt wrong to end this series like a lot of my other series, especially since, again, I got off of fan made power and I just kind of wanted to showcase the consequences of said power, as well as the ability to kind of move on and despite having those issues, you know, you can at least find some love in some way, you know, and live at least a decent life. And Naruto ends up kind of doing that, even though a lot of the planet is now dead because he can now repopulate the Earth with people who have nuclear release genes. So that means no one's ever going to die from that type of stuff ever again. So yeah, it's kind of a happy ending. At the same time, not a happy ending, but you know, it's kind of some. It's just different at the end of the day. Anyways, I hope regardless you enjoyed this series, and I hope you at least are glad that it has an ending. A bit more darker and cultured ending, but still an ending, and probably better than AOT Chapter 139. And now we will close the book officially on this story. Thank you all for watching the finale of What If Naruto Had Nuclear Release. Again, maybe not the ending that a lot of you guys would have expected, or maybe would have universally liked. Again, I kind of want to spice things up because I got tired of the same old endings, and I kind of wanted to do something a bit more cultured slash dark slash happy slash sad you know I, I guess you, you, you can maybe interpret whether or not it's a happy or sad ending I don't know it's kind of you know something I just wanted to do and try out for a change and I also kind of want to end off the series because a lot of people did want me to at least give it a conclusion to the series or at least upload more parts and I knew I couldn't necessarily do that if I kept writing individual detailed parts of every individual arc if they're just gonna relatively play out the same it just doesn't make any sense to me unfortunately and i just kind of wanted to end off the series on a bit of a decent note and at least give you guys something there so i hope you guys enjoyed the series overall though and i hope you guys um give me more suggestions for fan-made powers that Naruto can use in the future anyways in terms of the usual stuff watch my community topic a hawk you know keep Suggest me any fanfics you want me to read. Keep out, keep an eye out on videos this week, and a bunch of other stuff in between, such as following me on all of my social medias: Twitter at msh4, 
Instagram, anime underscore stage four, and join my Discord server, which is linked in the description. All of these are great places for you guys to interact with me, especially Twitter, and all of them kind of give you access to either my community or they allow you to contact me directly via DMs or something like that. So again, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and join my Discord server, which is linked in the description. Again, join to my Patreon, shout out to my 10 hour patrons, my 50 hour patron Anguish, and my 50 hour patron Gabe Tidwell. And thanks for 51k. On the day I'm recording this, we hit 51k, so let's get to 52k, and eventually 60k, then 70k, then you know drill, up to 100k. So yeah, let's, get, let's do that. Alright, that's it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and share the video. This has been your boy, Bammy Sage, sign out, peace, your ha. Sunny Shade, close this out, bye-bye, peace.